barbershop conversation, guys. Let me get this commercial in, and then we'll get started with the video. What? I said Malcolm alleged that uh, uh, some of Elijah's women were underage secretaries, and can you expound on that? Yeah, well, I guess they were, because they were there. I seen them. I seen them myself. It's all true. It's all true. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Good evening, messenger. convince us that you are the last messenger. How many other bastard children do you have? You're watching America This Morning. America's number one early morning. It's time after time after time we are watching murderers go free. They hide behind their badges, they hide behind their white privilege, and they use the excuse that they fear for their lives to murder our young people in cold blood. It's done. Hey, it's my brother. No, no, no. Don't think about it. All you self-righteous assholes do is march and destroy your own communities. Killing me won't change a goddamn thing. It's a lot different when it's a grown black man standing in the ground. So make sure you guys go check out those films, man. Produced, created, casted, paid for by Mawa, which is a great segue into this topic. Betting on themselves, according to Michael Benson, Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford are reportedly now negotiating with each other directly over the phone and have agreed and have agreed a purse split. Spence versus Keith Thurman and Crawford versus Alexis expecting next, but progress for Spence Crawford 2023. Shall we give myself a round of applause? Standing ovation. Now we need to take this off the screen. Make sure y'all got a good look so y'all can copy, paste, and share this and, and screenshot this and make your own videos. But uh y'all need to look at me for this picture for this video. Crazy Fred, man. Fred don't know what he's talking about. My camera is off a little bit. Fred don't know what he's talking about. He crazy. Isn't that what I told him to do from day one? The go. You're literally paying Al Heyman to do what? To call Terrence Crawford and negotiate? You paying him 20%, 30%, whatever you paying him, Earl? And at the time, Bob Arum. Negotiate your own fight when it's the only fight. I don't know if this is true or not. I have no idea if it's true. They can come in and rebuttal. But like I said, these guys don't talk. So these narratives get taken all out of control and all out of context. And you know what I mean? You got to control your narrative like you control your household. You know, it, it's, it's just that simple, you know? And uh, I'm going to take my I'm going to take my victory lap for the next two years, man. <laughs> I don't care who you promote it by. If it's only one fight to be made, like Manny Pacquiao, Mayweather, uh, Wilder Fury, Wilder Joshua, uh, whoever else, you know, like Spence Crawford, negotiate your own fight. Put him to the side. He says, you either take this deal or leave it. Are we going somewhere else with it? This is why. As you guys say, they took my credentials. You can't take some that you willfully gave away. Took my credentials because I wouldn't change. I'm waking people up. Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford took my advice. I'm the only one that told them to do this. Everyone else was blaming who? Each other. 
It's Spence's fault. It's Crawford's fault. Everybody on YouTube, baby daddies, people waiting on welfare, people waiting on government assistance and uh, have no concept of making money or and or making deals. And they got advice. Half the time they high. The other half they drunk. Fat, overweight, no common sense. They don't love themselves enough to give you advice. I've given sound, I've consistently given sound advice and looks like, looks like the anchors of justice is leaning towards Frederick Hawthorne and his, I'm the advisor in this situation. Al Heyman, step to the side. Y'all negotiate and we could put on the event. I, same thing I told Earl Spence, you should have called me. It's not hard to put on a boxing match. No, especially when it's a guaranteed sellout. Everything is negotiable. The percentage you pay the commission, the percentage you pay the promoters, because this fight doesn't need their help. Do you understand? We're going to do a four, five, six city press tour. We're going to go Omaha. We're going to do Omaha and Texas in the same day. We're going to go L.A., Omaha, Texas, Atlanta, New York, and wherever the numbers say along that East Coast Peninsula. We're going to hit it. And we're going to go on tour. Since we negotiate the deal together, we're getting on the same jet. We're cutting the budget in half. Crawford's not getting his own jet. Spence ain't getting his own jet. Y'all getting on this jet together. And uh, we're going to go promote the hell out of this fight. I'm just keeping it a buck. And the cameras are going to be rolling the whole time. We got. See, because the reason why I can give sound advice is because I've lived it for real in real life. Prior to me coming on YouTube, I've trained and was a part of uh, the draft process. If you know me, you know some of the athletes. <laughs> I was a part of their draft process. I trained them and got them ready for the draft. I trained them how to do interviews. I trained them, literally trained them, like literally told them don't wear nothing with no logo on it from now until you get drafted and or you sign with Nike, Reebok, Adidas. You don't wear nothing. You don't wear Gucci. You don't wear nothing because in the next, after you shot your last shot in college basketball, they're coming for you. You don't wear no logos. You make them come and earn your business. <clears throat> and it worked. Drew League every year, I get hugs from every man. Come on, man. Keeping it a buck. I'm really like a low key, like like a hidden gem, like not even hidden. You know what I mean? Like that's who I was. I was the man that they went to to clean up their son. Yeah. I mean, well over ten draft picks. Well over. Well over. I've said the names numerous times. This video ain't about them. <laughs> it's about me. It's about me and how I give sound advice. I would tell Spence and Crawford the same way. If if you guys have agreed to this fight, don't wear anything with a logo on it. You're not selling nothing. You're not selling no uh, God is black shirts, uh, uh, nothing. You, you, you're not promoting nothing. We are going to sell everything. Yeah, we're selling everything from T-shirts to the gloves you wear to the colors of the gloves. Or No, we ain't doing nothing for cancer if they're not paying for it. We're not doing nothing for Nike if they're not, I'm te if they're not paying for it. And we're going to make a mint off this fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm really the advisor because I keep the most money in their pocket. Just like I have no middleman. I sold my house myself for $1.7 million and gave the other agent 1%. You sold your house for 5%. I repeat, I sold my house for one7 and gave this, the, the person who bought my house, their agent, 1%. If you want to learn, go to homelister.com. You can sell your house yourself. It's easy. You just got to do the paperwork. Homelister.com.
I say 4%. No middleman. Uh-uh, no middleman. Did it myself. I pay people. I don't have no middleman. I outsource. Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't need, I'm not signing no three-year contract with nobody when everywhere I go, I sell out. What type of retardation is that? It's like Drake. Why He don't need nobody. Everywhere he goes, he sells out. The man did, the man did seven shows at Staples. Seven shows at the Forum in one city. He did 14 shows. I don't know what the number is, but he literally went from Staples Center to the Forum. In one city, he did over 10 shows in two weeks. No cap, no lie. That means you don't need nobody. You outsource everything. Even though I don't agree with him politically, LeBron, this is why... Y'all don't like LeBron. LeBron said about his son, he can go wherever he goes. It's just a phone call away. He's a Nike guy. Oh, yeah, he's a Nike guy. You go wherever I tell you. Yeah, you want USC, Ohio State, he's going where you want to go. Y'all make room. <coughs> we got to understand nepotism. That's why my son is going to be a successful, and Kennedy's going to be a successful at whatever they decide to do because Frederick believes in nepotism <laughs> from family to inner circles. But baby daddies don't understand it because they beg, they beg online, hey, give me uh three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, hit the cash app, hit the cash app, man. I'm waiting on my SSI, I'm waiting on my WIC, I'm waiting on my unemployment. I'm waiting. That's why they can do videos all day. They on government assistance. How else? So I applaud Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford for taking my advice that I told you guys to do four, five years ago. And uh, I wish you well. I hope you, you guys will get max. See, you don't <laughs> see. Here's the, the, the deal. People say, um, I'm going to simplify it for the, um, for the average in, a, average salary intake. If we make $100,000 a year working for somebody else, right? You're giving up eight hours a day, driving 10 hours a day, yada, yada, yada. Versus making $60,000 on your own as your own business. You're basically going to clear. You'll probably be in the 30% tax bracket. You're probably $100,000. You'll be anywhere between... 24 and 32% tax bracket. So you're going to bring home $70,000. But if you own your house and you work for yourself, <laughs> I'm going to just stop it there. Learn the tax laws and you'll realize it's better to work for yourself than it is to take that $100,000 job. But what about healthcare? No, you go work out. Prevention, an ounce of prevention is better than two pounds of cure. You don't need healthcare if you're going to the gym every day and you're taking care of yourself and you're going to have time to do it. And that's what I say about Earl Spence and Terrence Craft. The numbers sound great, but when you got to give a promoter 30%, when you got to give uh, the, com the commission makes 8% off the gate, <clears throat> <clears throat> your promoter, your manager. So you're paying out 40% with your team, minimum 40%. What's 40% of 10 million? So you're taking home 6 million. So how about you just outsource everything? You bring home 10 million, you say, hold up, Al, you want to be a part of this deal? I'm giving you 1%, a half a percent, take it or leave it. You don't want it? Okay, I'll go I'll go Eddie Hearn. At least Eddie Hearn gonna promote the hell out of this. He gonna talk, 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 talk. Knowing that PBC is gonna talk, 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 talk. Or I just go to Bob Arum. At least he gonna talk, 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 talk. Or I can go to Oscar. At least he gonna talk, 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 talk. Knowing that PBC is gonna 
talk, 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 talk. And I might need Oscar because we already got the black audience. So I may need Oscar to put Virgil Ortiz on the undercard. You use me, I use you. Fair exchange is no robbery. <coughs> You're going to need a <coughs> Mexican on the undercard. <clears throat> and I wouldn't put this fight in Vegas. They're going to rob you. Money-wise, money, you're never going to know. But if you could, man, shit. I'm just going to say, I'm not doing no traveling. But... If y'all, if, if Spence and Crawford can call each other, y'all should call me. Because I know the numbers. And I know how you guys can cut people out, make some money. Shrewd. You got to be shrewd, though. You know what I mean? And, and that's just real. So congratulations to these two men. They took my advice. They took my advice. They took my advice. They took my advice. They didn't listen to you over there. You over there. You over there. They listened to me. Me, me, what's today's date? The six, oh, the SSI, what, what day does SSI come, the first? I assume everything comes on the first, you know what I mean? So they got the SSI this last Friday, so they, 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 they happy, man, they happy. That's why you can make videos all day, you know what I mean? That's why you can go live all day. And when you get in government assistance, dog, you can do whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? You can sit in, sit in your chair and make videos and, edit and have fun and <laughs> but you don't know what's to stand 10 toes down and lead a family you know what i mean with a fifteen thousand dollar mortgage a month you don't know what that's like that's not what i pay i'm just saying figuratively speaking you know what i mean you don't know what that's like <laughs> congratulations to earl spence terrence crawford I'm, we're waking up we're waking up we're waking up waking the hell up Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you soon. Peace.